Get out of there. You silly little wasps. Oh, look at that juicy pomegranate. Mm -hmm. oh, all sorts of little animals here. Got some pretty butterflies. I have no idea what all this is all about. I have Horus. Uh, right over there. Yeah, of course we're going to set that piece of paper on fire and stick it in our back pocket. Hello, little chicken. I love that there's so much going on in this scene. Like, all these little animated bits here. That is definitely the new definition of Hot Pocket. Hair comb. Hmm. I need a cinnamon stick, shell, a ring, and a fig. I need a hair comb, a coconut, and a shell. Hair comb is under the lavender flowers. Thank you. We need a coconut, a shell, and a ring. That's a coconut. And that's a ring. We now have a gold. All right. We have found a useful coin. Three of them all together. So we can get a B-A-B-A. -A. No, B-A-N-A. A. -A. A. What? <laughs> All right, banana. Do your best. Time to charm the pants off this snake. Oh, it's actually called a, a Poonji. That's neat. I like the authentic uh, naming of stuff. They could have just called the flute. Play that funky music right now. Play that funky, funky monkey. Yes, and no, and bum, ba -da bum, bum, bum. Good night. Good night, sweet dreams. We totally charmed the pants off that thing. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna use. Leave me alone! Let me go! Help! Hey, leave her alone. Yeah, seriously. Got one time. <laughs> bye bye, ghosty, smoky things. Ah, shoot him. You're next. Wait for it. Wait for it. Done. Hello, pretty lady. What you got? What you need? How can I help you? Whoa, we get some dialogue here. Hello. Whoa, take it easy. I am aware of what could have happened. That's why I was calling for help. I am a Kiki. I came through space and time searching for you. We were looking for the one who can confront Seth with the gauntlet of Horus. Wow, she knows me. You should learn how to take your time to listen to others, or you will find yourself alone and helpless. That's a little bit of life advice for all of us, isn't it? 
My brother has been captured by Seth, just like your aunt. Please, save him. I will give you the key to the gauntlet's other part. I like you already. I am aware of my capabilities. My death would not save my brother. Some of these uh, speech options are either green or red. Interesting. Seth drains his energy from those he has taken away, growing stronger. The gauntlet will give you the ability to peek into the secrets of the dead. Trust me. She is very beautiful. I agree. Hello. Man, this game does look lovely. It's very, uh... I mean, they've captured the whole Egyptian vibe. I've never been to Egypt, but this is what I would imagine it to be. If that makes any sense. I've played Assassin's Creed Egypt Edition, and that looks kind of like this. Let's go inside. Whoa! A little jump scare. Uh, beautiful is the same as handsome. I use them interchangeably. Is that not... Correct? Hey buddy, you need to get out of the way there, mister. Or missus, we, we don't know. Yeah, beautiful and handsome, same thing. Hello, scarab. Where have you been hiding all my life? I apparently need to use our gauntlet on this and apparently it will talk to us. What? <laughs> the sarcophagus will speak. Seems like the gauntlet upgrade gives you the power to... Communicate with the dead. Now. That looks like hot stuff. There's something in the fire. I have a bone to pick with you. Whoa. What's this? Random feather. Not even the back is complete. Oh, really? An ivory statue of Nefertiti. That's cool. Very cool. When I was growing up, I had this fascination with Egypt. Studying it in, like, middle school. And I've always wanted to go there, but... Yeah. I've always been fascinated with Egyptian... So I have myself an empty pot and a scarab. Why in the world do we need either of those? What do we got buried here? Another scarab. Two for two on the scarab collection. Yeah, seriously, I've always wanted to go to Egypt. So I don't think that's gonna work even there. Yes, Egypt, Greece, I agree. All those ancient civilizations I find fascinating. You know, 2,000 year old civilizations. Or more, frankly. Let's go. Hmm. Guess we're here already. Hey, monkey, how's your banana? I'm not exactly sure what you want me to do here. Oh, I could probably fill this up. There we go. Irish mythology is your fave. That's cool. That's cool. I have a pot with some water. Seth took them into this temple. Hurry! We need to save them. Maybe we can put this fire out now. I have thought of going to Ireland. Wait, is it Ireland or Northern Ireland? Or both. A grieve. Oh, I know where that goes. I mean, I've always wanted to go to the UK. Or Britain, or whatever you call it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'll take that onk. And place it there. And I've got my scare buddies, too. Go, 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 go. Oh, 
let's step on inside the Temple of Seth. Wow. We are in Seth's chambers. Look at the size of this diamond. Oh, that was actually a collectible. Got it. Collectibles are diamonds and golden stars. It's too far up for me to reach. I think that I will open the floor hatch if I return the missing part. Hmm. Hello there, good sir. I feel like we're going to be speaking soon enough. Whoa! We got a little jump scare of bats. Bats, bats, bats. Ancient wooden lock, of course. It, I'm about 3,000 years behind the technology. Did I? Yes, of course. Looks like we need that to go there. I'm actually having fun with this game. This is pretty cool. I think it's the whole Egyptian part that's got me hooked. Got me hooked in pretty good. Collectible number eight. Looks like we're gonna fix up our little javelin here. Maybe. I think this is gonna go here. Another feather. Whoa! All of the hieroglyphs, indeed. What is this? It's amazing. I have no idea what it's for, but I hope it opens the door behind it. So we're gonna definitely uh, tie that up with a rope attached to it too. Huh. Nice! Open that trap door. Look at all this sunshine. Shining brightly. I think we got a puzzle with the hieroglyphics. Whoa! I don't know which one goes where. Oh! Okay, so, oh, I think we have to do some hieroglyphic math. <laughs> oh, it's hieroglyphic math, everybody. Wow. So, the monkey equals Two, four, seven. The monkey equals seven. The monkey plus two, five equals bird. So therefore bird equals two. The monkey minus scribble equals, I don't know. The bird, oh my god, this is brutal. It's Egyptian math. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is definitely algebra. This is totally algebra. Uh, so monkey minus one. Okay, so I'm gonna do seven minus squiggle equals X. And then we've got two minus four squiggle. Oh my gosh, okay, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Algebra, why are you so hard on me? Oh my gosh. And then we've got, what else we got? We've got three squiggles plus one equals seven. Help, help. Five plus seven feather is one bird. Uh -oh. 
So I can figure out what S is, but I don't know how that helps me. 